Hey guys, uh, how you doing? Just doing a little update video on my computer build. Um, it's been a while since I've updated the video, I've done some work to it. Um, this is my 900D case that I bought a few years back and I originally built the computer um, which was I believe in 2014, no wait, 2013 or 2012, 2012, sorry, 2012. 2012-2013, I think, when I, I started to, to build a computer. Um, so I've done a few, just a few modifications to it. I added uh, a separate reservoir and uh, pump uh, loop for the CPU. Uh, it's just 150 millimeter EK uh, reservoir that I had and a, uh, a bits power uh, D uh, six five. I'm not sure those numbers are right. Pump that I had you know, when I originally bought the system, which I attached to the bottom of the reservoir to kind of mount it in my case. Tight fit, but, but it fits. It fits. It works. And that's my other uh, bits power 250 milliliter uh, reservoir that I have for my graphics loop and the pumps down below. So. I decided to separate the loops uh, just to get a little better cooling, um, which works really, really well. Um, I also updated my uh, video cards. I used to have three uh, EVGA GTX 780 Ti's, which are right here. I used to have those three cards that I put the water blocks on myself. I had those cards in there, and with my you know, NVIDIA surround sound, sorry, N NVIDIA surround system that I have with the accessory display. Um, those cards didn't really, they were, only have three gigs of memory on them, so just weren't enough memory for the games that are coming out now. So, so I updated uh, the cards. I have two of the, uh, I'm not sure if you can see those, they're uh, EVGA. Hydro Copper um, GTX Titan X's. Uh, two of those cards, of course, they each have 12 gigs of VRAM on them, which is all I will ever need, ever, probably for a very long time. So, um, I decided just to get the the, the, the EVJ Hydro Copper instead of putting the blocks on because those cards are very expensive, very expensive cards. So I didn't want to mess with it, it was just easier. And I already had the you know the water cooling equipment in here, so I just had to change my my hoses around. But it works out well, very well. I love those cards. So um, I also updated the top um, radiator. Um, I had an EK uh, 360 radiator up there. Actually, I think it was, yeah, 360, sorry. And I, I, I actually have a Black Axe, sorry, Black Ice Extreme uh, radiator in there. I believe it's 54 millimeters thick, a little bit thicker, a little more water flow. Um, and that's actually cooling my CPU. I also have an EK 120 millimeter rad in the back there, um, also on the CPU block. That's been there. I didn't change that out. And then on the uh, GPU loop, I upgraded my. I have a, a Black Ice Extreme um, 480 radiator that I put on the bottom. Um, I had another EK 480. It was a. This radiator's a little bit thicker, um, 54 millimeters thick, about twice the thickness of my old, old radiator. I wanted a little bit more thicker, a little more water flow. And it works out really, really well. Very happy with that radiator. Um, as you can see, I'm folding on my uh, second uh, GPU card, the Titan X is folding. It's about 95%. Um, and my temperatures are at 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very, very good. Um, I try to keep my room temperature at 70. So, you know, 
course, when it gets warmer in the summertime, those tempers will go up, but, but they're excellent, excellent water cooling on both the CPU and the GPU. My CPU, it's overclocked. I have it overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz, as you can see right there with the uh, CPU-Z. And I've had that at 100% on all 12 cores. And the temperatures are around 50, 52 degrees Celsius at max. That's 100% load, which is not bad. That's not bad. Very good temperatures. Very good temperatures. Right now they're pretty low because I'm only, I'm only 13% utilization on the CPU, so not much. But anyways, that's it. Um, I did take out two of the front uh, fan controllers because I was having issues with the uh, individual sleeve wire. Some of the cabling came out of the molester connector and just did not work very well. Kind of poor, poor individual sleeving on a, I got a performance PC, but um, these two seem to, to uh, be still pretty good, so I kept them in there. I did add a little ASUS uh, DVD rider drive just just to have in there, just kind of fill up the slops. Um, as you can see. Um, but anyways, that's the build. Here's my NVIDIA surround with my um, accessory display up top. I keep on the right, you know, just to monitor my temperatures and things like that. And I play my games on the NVIDIA surround, which works really, really well. So, um, Anyways, that's the computer system for now. It's work in progress, but it's uh, I'm very happy with it right now. It's a it's a you know expensive system. Uh, I put some money into it, but um, it is you know extremely fast and and really wonderful for multitasking. If I'm not playing games in my three monitors, I usually have three screens up to to multitask, I'm on YouTube or, or, or downloading whatever other content I'm downloading or or uh, always doing something. So I need the multiple monitors up, which works really well for me. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you guys later.